now the very next thing we are going to do when we are in dashboard we should not see this login and register button icon ok and when we are in register page we should not see this register and logout page logout button ok so let us do that functionalities in all js let us make one more one more function one more arrow function let me copy this not request request not attenuation ok rename it to check authentication ok everything is perfect if there is token we need to verify the jwt token here from here ok and we need to set a variable that variable will be allowed to access inside our register inside our layout page or inside login or register inside any any views ok if there is any error here we will set the variable as null response dot locals it will be a locals variable response dot locals dot user this is the name of our variable and this will be null if if there is anything went wrong and it will pass the user copy this and paste it here save it and if if there is no token then it will also be null so let me copy this and paste it here as well and here find user from database that means there is a token we need to find the user from database so let's do it user what was the name of our model it was user with uppercase user dot find by id we are going to find by id and the id will be decoded user dot id comma it will take a callback function at first it will show an error and next docs that mean our user ok docs mean our user if there is any error it will do next error otherwise it will save the local variable as our user the user from database and the variable name is user and this docs mean the user we are getting from database here we need to pass the next control x and paste it here as well control shift i for rearranging your code let me export this out from here comma control v we are going to use this check authentication for every get request that means whenever someone render a file using a get request then this variable will be allowed ok so in app.js actually let me copy this line where we have included request authentication paste it here as well there will be check authentication check what was the name actually it should be check check authentication copy the name so it will not be any spelling mistake and paste it here ok uh, in app use let me copy this and paste it app hope and here will be star sign the star sign mean all the get request are allowed to check authentication check authentication and this would be a 
get request z e t okay okay from auth js let me copy this if else statement copy this and paste it above this render in our dashboard route uh, in instead of nexting we need to render from here by default if there is no token then by default the variable const user will be unknown we don't need to give any double double value or variable here if there is no token okay verifying token in instead of next let me render from here as well actually we don't need to render from here we need to render from here okay that means nothing went wrong from here and let me change the variable name control c and control v for paste control v and the username will come from our database docs dot name open your console where it is here it is npm the problem with the problem with problem with this auth file cannot find inside app js let me check this should be one dot true we haven't declared any token so let me copy this jwt token from here and paste it inside our dashboard paste it here control s once again reload the page you see welcome Killian Mbappe we log in as Killian Mbappe and it's showing welcome Killian Mbappe and there is something still not done that is we still not set our menu so let's do that in our layout.sbs we set our user variable users local variable so let's work with that do you need to check a if condition hash if if there is any user then it will show this dashboard and logout these two item okay we need to close this if condition forward slash if and else condition inside in hps else condition is unless unless this is same as else condition unless let's close this unless or slash unless take this register and login and paste it inside here control shift i this should be user i guess user save it and once again reload the page it's not showing any sign up or login or register you can see now next and the very last thing we have left is logout functionality so let's work with it logout route is very very simple so what we need to do is let me copy this get request from here and paste it at the very top or very bottom doesn't matter you can paste anywhere this would be logout logout and there will be no render function there will be no request not authentication and we will have a variable this cookie we need to set cookie as empty cookie so we will log out automatically so let's do it jwt token this token will be empty 
and maximum age will be on second so it will it will log out very fast and race dot redirect after logging out we are going to redirect to to the home page actually so once again open layout dot sbs just make sure this a step is directing to logout okay logout route save it once again open your open your browser once again login with mbappe and password was mbappe1234 submit now we are login just click on this sign out it's showing something went wrong here is the mistake we have made that is this should be users not user okay once again go backward reload the page and click on logout it's log out successfully now you can see register and login page this time you can't see dashboard and log log out page okay one more thing when you try to try to go to users login uh, login not login actually dashboard by manually typing the url you still redirecting to the uh, login page that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please like comment and do subscribe my channel help me to grow my youtube channel that's the inspiration i get when you subscribe to my channel uh, if you have any requested video please let me know